Hi guys, so we're gonna talk about the concept of metrics in C++ programming. Now let's see what is a matrix. It is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols or expressions arranged in rows and columns. It is represented as M into N matrix where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. So this is the picture of a matrix. So it has rows and columns. So what type of array will be we be using here? Two dimensional array. Only two dimensional array contains rows and columns, right? So for representing a matrix will be or to declare a matrix we'll be using two dimensional arrays. And just like searching, sorting, uh, matrix is also an application of uh, of the concepts of array. Now this is the matrix calculation used in programming. Addition of two matrices or number of uh, matrices you want to add, subtraction of matrices, multiplication of matrices and transpose of a matrix. Now let's look into the first one that is the addition of matrix. It's quite simple guys. Now we'll be adding two matrices here since uh, the how much uh, matrices you want to add is not mentioned i have uh, declared uh, two uh, matrices that means two uh, two dimensional arrays that is a of 50 50 and b of 50 50 that is uh, 50 rows and 50 columns and since we are adding two matrices we have to store it to a separate uh, array right so i'll be declaring another array c with the same number of rows and columns as A and B. Now we want to declare the number of rows. We have to enter the number of rows and number of columns, right? So we declare the variables M, N. And since we are using two dimensional arrays to <coughs> insert the numbers, we'll be using loops, right? There's rows and columns. That means we have to use two looping statements here. That means the concept of a uh, nested loop has a huge role play here so we will declare the letters i and j okay now we enter the number of rows we enter the number of columns next we will start with the first matrix here we use the, uh, the nested loop i is equal to 0 i less than m j is equal to 0 j less than n and we enter the first uh, elements inside the first matrix the store uh, for a the array a with the variable name a is our first matrix now we have to display it why because when we add two matrices these uh, we have to uh, display or show the programmer that this is the uh, first matrix that we have used then comes the, the same way we enter the values in the second matrix that is the second array b after that we display the second matrix as well we have to display it in a uh, matrix format see there's uh, <clears throat> one the, for the first matrix i have entered two rows and two columns same goes with second matrix oh yeah to add two matrices their rows and columns numbers has to be same so both has two rows and two columns here for first matrix one two three and four the example here that is uh, here 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the second matrix is 1, 1, and 1. Now I want to display that in um, the matrix format. So I use in we display that matrix in the next line with 1. After that, slash t. Why do we use slash t with uh, A of ij? Let's take with the first matrix A of IJ slash T is there. That is uh, here. I hope you can see my mouse. A of uh, IJ slash T slash T is for use for horizontal spaces. And it's an escape character which cannot be directly typed from the computer. Same goes with the second matrix. We print it in the matrix format. Then now we add these two matrices. C of ij equal to A of ij plus B of ij. It's like carrying two numbers itself. Here, matrices are added that each 
say 1 2 the first row will be added to the first row of the second matrix same goes the second row of the first matrix will be added to the second row of the third or the second row of the second uh, second matrix so we add them together and we get the result as 2 3 4 and 5 and then we print the sum of matrix which is 2 3 4 and 5 that is addition of matrix now next is subtraction of matrix Subtraction of matrix is just a slight difference is there compared to addition of matrix. All you have to change is C of i j equal to A of i j minus B of i j. The plus sign changes to minus. That's the only difference. The rest of the program is same. You print the first matrix, you print, you display the first matrix and the second matrix and add them together. In addition case, and we subtract the two matrices in the, the uh, subtraction case. This next is the multiplication matrix. Now, um, the same we will do the same thing. We enter the number of rows, we enter the number of columns of both matrices here. We enter the first matrix and we enter the second matrix. Alright, till there it's same, fine. But there's a condition if you want to multiply, that is the the nth column should be equal to the pth row. That means m into n and p into q. First matrix uh, is denoted with m into n and the second matrix is denoted with p into q. Here the condition is that the nth column should be equal to the pth row. Then the nth column of the first matrix should be equal to the row of the second matrix. Okay. Suppose that condition is fulfilled. Say for this example A and B. A11 one, one with uh, two rows and two columns and B with two rows and one column. Here the n's value is 2 and here the p's value is uh, and uh, p's value is 2. So the condition is true. Now let's take a look at this. See, see this box where I've uh, cut uh, both ones and I've cut these twos. Now, this is uh, for both in the first matrix, it's 0, 0 and 1, 0. But when it comes to the second matrix, it becomes 0, 0 again and 1, 0. I mean, yeah, zero, zero. for the first matrix, it's uh, 0, 0 and 0, 1. The second matrix is 0, 0 and 1, 0. Now, if you look, that means we're going to use i and g here. Obviously, i and g is required here. Of the concept of nested loops is used here, obviously. But if you look, in the first matrix case, j is changing. And in the second matrix case, i is changing. So that means both i and j are changing. It's not possible in a nested loop. One loop changes here and the other remains constant. So, what do we do here? Suppose we introduce a third loop then we introduce third loop both of uh, i and j can remain constant and when k is value is over j can change and when j is value is over i is value can change so here we will be using three loops that means there will be two inner loops and one outer loop it's the same display first matrix and second matrix we will go if n is equal to p here three loops are used if i is equal to i less than n, j less than q. For k is equal to 0, k less than p. In c, here c of ij is equal to c of ij plus a of ik into b of kj. Take a look, k's value changes. So j and i can be used here without any problem since i and j are remaining constant here, right? In one case, I remains constant, in the other case, J remains constant. So, a third loop is introduced here, so, so that both can be, both can remain constant. 
okay now why we are adding cfig again with afik in the bfkj why so remember the uh, in my previous video when we added two numbers and we added the uh, sum of natural numbers we wrote s equal to s plus i right why because we are adding each number take a look in the matrix case 1 and 1 1 will the <coughs> first element of the first matrix will be multiplied with the first element of the second matrix and the second element of the first set matrix will be multiplied with the second element of the second matrix and after that we have to add them together see 1 into 2 that is in the next box 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 that's the reason that means we have to add the previous value of the product with the new product that's why we are adding again cfij in this case so we after the loop is processed we get the uh, c's the new matrix that means the product 4 and 4 and we display the result next is a uh, transpose of a matrix transpose of a matrix means the suppose uh, if the values in the rows will be transferred to the column the columns and the values in the columns will be transferred to the rows that means just the an inverse will happen just the change in the change in positions of the values so we enter the number of rows and enter the number of columns same way here only one uh, array has to be used since we are just changing the positions inside the array we enter the, the values in afij after we display that matrix because uh, after the transpose of matrix the value changes so the previous value has to be displayed here look the afij is equal to afji that means the values of the rows will be transferred to the, the columns position and the values of the columns will be transferred to the rows position and transpersonal matrix we displayed in and the matrix which got uh, transferred the value got changed and we display that result in the matrix format so this is the how the, this is the concept of matrix in C++ programming and the concept of nested loops has been used number of times in these uh, applications of array. I hope you have understood this video. Any doubts please comment down below. Thank you.